Greetings, Keishlings. Keish Prime here with my live reaction of Undead Unluck, Chapter 73. Okay, last chapter. Fuko at least temporarily broke out of uh, Kane. So, will she stay free? Or will she be recaptured? Don't really know. I mean, she went out the blowhole, it was, you know, so it's like... Will she just fall onto the top of him or into the water, you know? Or actually, no, wait, did she hit the water already? I forget. But either way, um, and then, of course, Union is in pursuit now that they know her location. So, uh, who will get to her first, basically? But uh, anyway, the title is That's Fine By Me, and we got a nice color cover of them during springtime. It looks like with the cherry blossoms. Um, and uh, they're stacking cans on Andy's head. Oh, okay. Cute, but weird. Um, anyway, the date of the raid on spring. I need to tell them. Mm, yes. I keep thinking it's summer, but it's spring. Um, I need to tell everyone, Andy, Fuko, it's me. I got through. I still find it ridiculous that Cloppy can turn into things like that. I mean, it's a transmitter, so theoretically he could become anything as long as it's like clothes based, even if it's supposed to be electronic. So it's like he could become a mech suit, technically, because it's a suit. I don't know. Um, but anyway, I don't, it just, his potential is very much unlocked with this whole transmitter thing. <clears throat> What's gotten into me? Uh, I've only been apart, or we've only been apart for three days. She's starting to tear up, but just hearing his voice is filling me with joy. If I miss this call, I probably won't have another chance to talk to him until the 24th. I have so much I want to say, but I have to tell them. At the very least, at the very best. At the very best? What? The raid date is December 24th. Uh, their hideout is inside the Orca Yuma's belly. It's impossible to track. Then what was the point of even saying it? <clears throat> As for uh, members, we lack intel on those. Uh, there's a single male. Uh, to uh, uh, don't know his ability. My mom keeps coughing in the background as well as a retainer type girl and an old lady who looks like a sword fighter uh, named Yusei. That's all I know, I'm sorry. Hey, what are you talking about? You did good. Andy, thanks to you, we can cook up a plan. Okay, and now spring is in full in uh, Japan, it looks like. I believe that's Japan. <clears throat> Listen up, spring uh, changes people into cherry trees. What? <laughs> the condition. That's why there's trees everywhere? Oh, sweet heavens. Uh, the condition is touching the petals, wafting in the air. As things stand, you won't be able to reach spring. You'll just end up a cherry tree yourself. You need to make contact with Yusei. Her ability can stop the petals from falling off the trees. How do you know that? <clears throat> what is her ability? Befriend you saying, uh, come to spring with her. How do you know this? Drop my name and she should cooperate with her. What? Oh, someone from his past. Got it. She's an old friend of yours, right? Ha, huh. friend is an understatement. What? More like ex-girlfriend. Oh, no. <laughs> Poor Fuko. It's like, uh -huh. <laughs> uh, uh, or sort of like that. Did you just cut off at the worst possible time? My bad. Oh, oh. Unbelievable. You waste an important call talking about your ex girlfriend. Okay, so, uh, Miko is stomping Andy in the guts. Uh, Fuko's got to be in tears by now. And, uh, Tatiana, uh, it took me a second, is uh, also pounding him in the guts. 
you're the worst, you brainless womanizing zombie. He's like, he's all puffied up face. You don't dare repair those wounds. Let them fester for a while. Get a little taste of Foucault's pain. And he heals them instantly. But they weren't life-threatening wounds, were they? <laughs> um, I mean, the facial wounds, probably not. I thought she didn't have a comm device, so I let my guard down. Uh-oh. But now I see she had clothes, huh? Andy's found her No, <laughs> Or, not Andy, Billy. E, E, E names. Um... I was looking at Billy and I said Andy, my brain. Um, not bad, undead. Billy? Sorry, but until spring is neutralized, I'm not letting unluck out anymore. Give up on trying to recover her. On December 24th, the date I'm sure she told you, I will make her kill spring. And she's just kind of eek. <laughs> Since I can't uh, steal her powers, I'll just have to use it jerk then i'll just take her back on that day after fuko's intel gave us uh, the skinny on your i don't get that the skinny that's a weird term <clears throat> the skinny on your forces what good will knowing do uh, we're not a gang of amateurs like all of you if you get in the way your lives are all over sick bring it on okay hmm <laughs> Tella, cut the call. Roger. Oh, and there went radio silence. Poor Chloe. Or Clothy. Uh, Captain, uh, how should we deal with clothes? Huh? Leave it alone. I have no interest in babysitting it. Andy, everyone's... Okay, so she gets to keep... <laughs> I mean, I guess chances are they're not going to be able to, like... She's not going to be able to communicate with them anymore and escape, so... Yeah, I guess it makes no sense that... Or, it, I guess it makes some sense that you would just let her keep it, but I still wouldn't even let her keep it. Anyway. At the round table. Um. Wait, is that Stonehenge in the background? Um. Mr. Andy, what did you want to talk about? It has to do with Foucault, right? Yeah. I got word from under. What? What did they say? On December 24th. Wait. Did... Wasn't everyone... No, he was... He was off on his own, wasn't he? On December 24th, uh, they're going to bring all their fighters to make sure we don't take Fuko back. From Fuko's transmission, I can guess who's the fighting types are. Guard duty will be five or six people. Tella, Billy's aide, Rip, Unrepair, Creed, the guy who fought back on that boat, and I'm positive that the ones who will be keeping close to Fuko will be Billy and Yusei. Okay, Yusei is old looking, so it's like, I wonder how old she is. I can't make it uh, to her all on my own. So I'm asking you guys to put your lives in my hands. Okay, and he bows to them. And Tatiana just punched him across the table. Um, I mean, of course she would. I mean, it's like, this is a stupid question to ask. They obviously are all friends with Fuka. They want her back, too. Miss Tatiana, what are you doing? Are you stupid? Oh, she's gone full mech mode now. You were planning on doing this alone? Quit screwing around. I may be undead like you. Or not be undead. I may be undead like <laughs> I may not be undead like you, but if it's for a friend, I don't mind risking my life at all. Aw. Tatiana, please calm down. B boss your arm's okay now. She has a robotic one. Many of Under's fighters are much more skilled than our own. You could say that they're more dangerous than any Yuma we've encountered on a quest, which I assume is why he asked for uh, to reaffirm. But thanks to Fuko, we now have intel on them. We stand a fighting chance, isn't that right? 
Yeah, no more complicated negotiations. We're going to spring at them. <laughs> okay, and we got... I, I like this composite picture of, like, you've got the Union people on the top, you've got Spring there in the middle, and then a panel of Under on the underside. Ah. And then you've got, like, the two big pieces of Billy on one side and Andy on the other. And settle the score. And it comes back on the ninth. Gotcha. This might be the cover pit, or the title, or... Thumbnail is what I was trying to say. Um, but yeah, this, this might be it. I, I like this one. So it's like the date is set. They're all united. And we're going to have a big old battle of the two factions over the fate of the spring become captured by who? <laughs> Um, and also Spring's ability of turning people into frickin' cherry blossom trees is, uh, kind of weird. <laughs> I mean, I guess it makes sense given, you know, cherry blossom trees are a very, like, big symbol of Spring. But, like, to turn people into them? Like, what about animals? Do they get turned into? Or no? Or... And it's only if you get touched by the petals. Which then makes me wonder, is it only petals that say he produces himself? Or is it petals that, um, the trees that he creates? Or is it both? I don't know. Or can, like, the trees, like, their petals also, you know, create people into, or turn people into trees? That would be interesting to know, but I guess probably we won't find out. But if it does, I could see that being kind of interesting. Um, and also terrifying, because it's like, Oh my god, avoid every single cherry blossom pebble. Um, because it's like, is it from the tree folk? Or is it from the spring monster? But anyway, um, so yeah. Okay, so Fugo did her job. Sadly, she is still in the hands of Under, obviously, but Andy's coming for his gal. And uh, also, we find out that you say is a former gal of Andy. Hmm, interesting. I assume that is the person who he was training with, you know, during the training time skip thing that uh, Yuna was giving them, but I'm not sure. And it could be just because, uh, uh, Fuko, who I, yeah, Fuko was there seeing all of that, so it's like, it doesn't surprise me that she might have not recognized Yusei because of the fact that she is so much older now. But that's my guess of who Yusei is. But, could be completely wrong, could be somebody else, um, but yeah. Anyway, I guess that's it for uh, this uh, chapter and my thoughts. Uh, let me know your own thoughts and opinions on this. Anything I miss, misunderstood, please let me know down below. Check out my other content, including um, I did Kingdom Yesterday, and uh, next up will be Mashley. So check those out and all of my other content. See what you like, suggest things for the future. Links down below for all my social media so you can keep up with my content and have ways to contact me. Help me reach 500 subs by the end of August. 500, 500. Um, like I said, links down below for all my social media. I stream on Twitch where I do gaming and I'll tweet it out when I go live. Part of the One Punch Man podcast on Grim Reaper's channel, so go check that out. And as always, thank you for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, Keeshlings. Who will get spring? And who will be turned into a tree? <laughs>